Hello everyone, this question is about differential equation. We have this differential equation, boundary condition, and solve y in terms of x. Okay, so the first step is to separate the variables. Just uh, move this to the right. We have minus y squared plus y. And then we want to move everything with y to the left. So what we do is we um, divide by y squared plus y divide by y squared plus y and we also divide by x squared divide by x squared and we multiply by dx. So now we cancel out the x squared and the dx. We have only this on the left. Everything is, is in y. And here we cancel out. We get minus 1 over x squared dx. So after we separate the variables, everything with y on the left, everything with y, x on the right, we integrate both sides. Now, um, this is the same as x to the power of minus 2, reciprocal, negative power. Now, this is easy to integrate, no problem. Problem is uh, this guy here. So there is no direct way to integrate 1 over y squared plus y dy here. So we have to use the um, partial fractions decomposition first. So factorize the denominator and we use the partial fractions method so we identify the forms we have to use because of y we have to use a over y because of y plus 1 we have to use b over y plus 1 and then we multiply both sides by the denominator so we cancel out and if we multiply by the denominator y y plus 1 on the right we're gonna get y times this cancel out so a times y plus 1 and when you multiply this term we get b y okay so we multiply both sides by the denominator <clears throat> now to find the a and the b just use the zeros of the factors to make this factor 0 we got to plug in minus 1 here and to make this factor 0 we got to plug in 0 so just plug in 0 there is nothing to plug in on the left on the right if you plug in 0 you get 0 plus 1 which is 1 1 times a is a if you plug in 0 you get 0 so you get the value of a and if you replace the y with minus 1 you, this will be 0 so we get minus b so b is minus 1 that's why we have this partial fractions decomposition so after you do the partial fractions now we can integrate directly the integral of 1 over x is ln x 1 over y ln y and same thing here the integral is ln the denominator basically and from here when we integrate so um this is um before integrating and this is after integrating so after we integrate we get you know the power is plus one minus two plus one divided by that new power and so minus times minus is plus so we have one over x plus c this is the general um, solution still with c now we plug in the boundary condition when x is 1, y is 1, so 1, 1, 1. Okay, so we can find the value of c. ln 1 is 0, this is ln 2. 1 over 1 is 1, so c is minus ln 2 minus 1. So now we replace this c with minus ln 2 minus 1. We get the particular solution but we need it to be in terms y in terms of x so we still have to do a lot here so let's start by combining the logarithm 
you can combine the logarithm here subtraction becomes division we divide the arguments and um, on the right just just rewrite now here if we have y over y plus one we have two y's basically we have y y again yeah it's gonna take a while to rearrange to get just y so i'm just gonna multiply both sides by minus here okay so we multiply both sides by minus one now minus one here if you move this power inside the argument you're gonna get y over y squared i mean y plus one to the power of minus one which means to the power of minus one means you flip the fraction so that is why after we multiply both sides by minus one we flip this fraction because of you know the fraction to the power of minus one and on the right we have minus times this minus times this minus times this and now you can see y over y is one and we still have one over y basically we have only one y on the left hand side so this is simpler we can find the y directly later so now we do e to the power of everything on the left everything on the right so e to the power of e to the power of we can cancel out on the left we have only the argument on the right you just rewrite e to the power of everything and then we subtract one from both sides and then this is still one over y to find the y we have to use the reciprocal of this so one over this whole thing so it looks complicated but you can stop right here this is the final answer now next part what happens when x approaches infinity so when x approaches infinity well we have one over x here one over infinity one over infinity is one divided by something really big it's going to be zero so using this concept we can replace one over x with zero so the final answer is almost exactly the same but the x is infinity one over x is zero so this is the final answer just one mark all right i'll see you again next time